Ah, oh, I should wear my grubby hat. Oh man, this thing is so old and gross. <laughs> G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Christmas with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today I'm going to be doing the eraser only art challenge. How this works is, let's say I have a whole bunch of graphite lead here and an eraser. I'm going to draw an image only by, ooh that just smudges it. This is definitely going to be a challenge. By smudging the entire image aggressively, my god, okay. This is definitely going to be a challenge. It does get through, but you have to push really hard. Along those lines though, I actually have a few options. So obviously this, this eraser does erase. I have to press quite firmly, otherwise it just sort of smudges. But then I also have these options. So if you're wondering, there are things in existence that erase other than just the go-to eraser. This here is called a kneadable eraser and it is like, sort of like blue tack, sort of like this gummy stuff that you can mix around and spread and pull like this it picks up the lead and uh, this is good to sort of gently lift areas of the lead you will notice of course though that it sort of is stuck to the lead so when you have a kneadable eraser that has a lot of of the graphite lead on the surface you start to knead it which mixes the lead into the eraser it's just sort of folding it into itself again and again and again and that's sort of I guess you'd say like cleaning it because <laughs> then you can use it again without re-spreading that lead and then I have these two Two little options here I suppose you would say for details uh, one is just a plain old eraser pen you just have a piece of eraser in the middle there and this seems to be a terrible piece of crap that I'm now going to throw in the bin look I can't even I can't even wipe away <laughs> the, the, the eraser like dregs without getting lead all over my hands so I have three erasers to work with the final uh, is a Derwent electric eraser it's sort of the same size as that piece of crap eraser I just threw out you press a button on it and it goes boom. and as you can see ooh ooh fancy it allows me to work in finer detail and using only these tools on a page filled with graphite lead I'm going to create a winter Christmas art scene to celebrate the holiday season. Now I'm not creating the winter scene out of a sense of familiarity or nostalgia because the reality is in Australia Christmas is summer and as you can see we don't have Christmas sweaters we have Christmas shirts because it's bloody hot here and we often have like 40 degrees Celsius Christmas days. Christmas day to us in Australia is when you're out having a barbecue, your ice cream is melting by the second in your hands, you're having water fights out in the scorching heat. <laughs> so this is definitely not a, uh, a familiar winter scene, but it's one that I would en enjoy imagining being in one Christmas because it gets far too hot here. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get started on our eraser only Christmas challenge. I started off by using a cut strip from my basic eraser to sort of smudge sketch a simple landscape layout. And then I went in with my electric eraser and started to erase areas I knew would have some solid white such as the top of a mountain and the roof of a house. It was also useful to realize that a slight smudge of the already laid down graphite would make a much darker area. So I used this for the sky. I used the kneadable eraser quite heavily to start to create gradients and lighter areas, especially in the foreground and midground to uh, show that snow effect. I went in to create some more solid treetop silhouettes and then further define the mountain. And then when approaching the stars, I knew I needed a little more detail. So what I actually figured out I could do is run my electric eraser on a piece of paper for quite a long period of time to sort of create a sharpened point edge. And this came in really useful for the rest of the piece to create some really nice sharp details when I needed to, such as in the stars, some areas in the mountains, and especially some treetops. I also had to start with a new tip in the end of my electric eraser at one point so it took quite a bit longer to sharpen that into a point so I could use it for details. Finally I went through and added the final details through the area of the fence essentially just further outlining where some of those stones would be by resting some snow on top of them and just making sure that some of the edges on parts of the snow such as the roof and mountains were further refined and sharpened.
There you go, ladies and gentlemen, I am all done. That was the eraser only challenge. I gotta admit, I ended up pretty much not using my traditional eraser at all, but I did very heavily use my electric eraser, especially when I needed details. And uh, I used my needable eraser quite a lot when I needed to lift and remove larger areas of the graphite uh, lead pencil. It's not perfect. And as you know, landscapes are not my thing, but I hope you enjoyed this video. I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the result. You can see a little Santa's sleigh in the background there, little, little happy stars and happy trees, and somewhat inspired by Bob Ross, I will admit. I did actually watch The Joy of Painting last night, so maybe that's where I got this idea from. But it definitely captures the peaceful winter scene, feel and aesthetic I was going for, and I really hope you enjoyed it. But most of all, no matter who you are, or where you're from, or what you celebrate, I want to thank you so much for being a part of this community, for watching my videos, and of course wish you a very happy and safe holiday, and happy new year. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching! Make sure to subscribe to my channel for new content every week. If you want to support my work and get some goodies for yourself, head over to my store for archives, ebooks, digital brushes, video courses, and more. If you enjoyed this video, here's a link to another video you might like from this channel. And if you want even more, make sure to check out all my behind the scenes action on my vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now. Thanks for joining the arty party, and until next time, I'll see you later.